Welcome back, friends. Our next guest, Mandy Maxwell, is a friend of the show and a volunteer with Animal Protection League in Anderson. And she's brought along this guy, a local pup named <laughs> Meatball, who's looking for his forever home today. That's Hi, Mandy. Right. Welcome back. Hi, Thanks Mandy. for having us. Good to see you. Hi, Meatball. How you doing, Hi, man? Meatball. I'm Good. actually expecting an answer. Well, I just, <laughs> yeah. That just hit me in the moment. He's Hi, exploring. Bud. He's, oh, there's his little, oh, it says he needs a home. Loves walks. Big fan of Gossip Girl. I mean, who isn't, you know? <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. And this is actually a great time, not only to find Meatball a home, but to talk about an important topic because yeah. Meatball has been a little stressed, right? Yes, super stressed and I would even say depressed hmm. at the shelter. It's so funny because today we were walking and I can just see a difference in his demeanor. Yeah. Today, being out and about, yeah. he's out of the shelter, he got to go for a walk in a place he's never been. Yeah. He was happy in the car versus at the shelter where he's so stressed out in his kennel. Yeah. And then you take him to go for a walk and while he loves being out, He's just kind of like moseying along. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? He just sure. doesn't have the pep in his step. Right. Big mood change. Yeah, yeah. you can Big tell change. and you can feel it. Oh, you know? 100%. Oh, 100%. Can, oh, yeah. Well, I was going to say, what can people do, you know, maybe to support you guys or if mm. there is an animal, they also know who is kind of showing those signs. Yep. So there's a couple of things that we do um, for dogs like Meatball who are getting a little <laughs> bit depressed. And one is a Kong. Oh yeah. We yeah. love Kongs at the shelter. We use them for our own dogs. Anytime we have a foster dog, we fill it with peanut butter. It's already got some little goopy peanut butter in it. Okay. Yeah. Or cheese whiz. Oh yeah. And then a lot of times we can freeze it. And then when you freeze it and then you give it to them, it takes them longer to kind of work that oh, peanut yeah. butter out. Yeah. And it keeps keeps him occupied Aww. for a while. That's right. Yeah. Meatball likes his Kong. Yes. yes. And then we also um, use Frisbees. Okay. And we hang them on their kennel and we just smear peanut butter on them. Yeah. So then it gives them, they lick the peanut butter and something it gives them, do. you know, just something to yes. do for a little bit. Yeah. Get their mind off of the stress mm. of the shelter and just to kind of give them something else to do. Yeah. Than yeah. To just sit in there and like and watch. Wait. And wait. And wait. Yeah. And yes. How and long? Wait. How long has Meatball been waiting for a family? Over five months. Five months. Oh my yes. gosh. Yes. Okay. Oh He's a goodness. complete gentleman. Loves yes. long walks. <laughs> he truly believes that Ted Lasso should have a fourth season. I completely agree. <laughs> I agree. I agree. He's I agree. a big cuddle bug. Um, how does he get along with other pups? Um, dogs, cats uh, uh, are probably a no go. He probably has a bit of a prey drive for the kitty cats. Dogs, I would say, with a very slow, proper introduction, yeah. he might be okay. Okay. Unfortunately, he hasn't been given those opportunities. Yeah. And so, we always do meet and greets. Yeah. Um, he could totally be an only dog too. Yeah. That's fine yeah. as well. But if you do have another dog and you're interested, I would definitely say, the slower the better. Okay. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. Especially after being at the shelter for so long. Yeah. They need time they need to just a little decompress. Time. Sure. Exactly. Yep. 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 Just and like humans in that yeah. way. Yeah. And yeah. Meatball's already neutered, correct? Neutered. Okay. Rabies, all the vaccines. Yeah. Got it he all. is ready. He's ready to go. Yeah. He's ready to frack and roll. To just hit the town. I know. I saw another full <laughs> screen pop up. It said his favorite rapper was Snoop Dogg. Well, obviously. Oh, yeah, obviously. well, Hi, for bud. sure. How you doing? <laughs> well, let's get this guy a home. Let's get um, Meatball a home, Mandy, please. if people want to uh, learn more about Meatball yeah. or take him home today, yeah. where do yeah. they need to go? So go to our website first, um, www.inapl.org. Okay. Um, fill out a application, an adoption application for him specifically, or you can peruse through the cats and the dogs okay. that are available. Great. Start with that and go from there. Okay, inapl.org. Yeah. Yeah. We'll give the number a call on your screen. Look at that Mandy, smile. thanks so much. Um, yeah, Meatball, we hope you get a home today, buddy. I know. We, I hope we hope so. someone yes. takes you home. I hope cutie. so. Too. Thanks oh for goodness. having thanks, us. Mandy. Thank you. And thanks for those tips. Yeah, too. good yeah. tips. Just yeah, good absolutely. Reminders. Yeah. Yep. Well, coming up next, the dancing pros from Arthur Murray Dance Studio are going to give us some expert tips on picking dances for the upcoming wedding season, especially for brides and grooms, or maybe a dance with their parents. That's right. We'll be right back with a little dance tutorial and more right oh. after this. Hey, bud. How you doing, man? When I saw you in that dress, looking so beautiful. 